In this video, we're going to show you how to bleed a Shimano hydraulic disc brake. In this instance, we're using one of their lower level group sets, but the principle remains the same throughout the Shimano range and also for the majority of other manufacturers. It's one of those jobs which can seem quite daunting to the majority of people, but when you know what you're doing, it is relatively simple. Why would you want to do it? Well, if you're getting reduced braking performance, or well, the action at the lever here feels quite spongy, it might well be that you've got some air inside the braking hose here, and that's when you need to bleed the brakes. But of course, the most important function of your bike is the braking. So if you're not 100% confident in what you're doing, we would recommend taking it to a professional bike mechanic. For this job, you'll simply need a set of Allen keys plus the correct Shimano brake bleeding kit. Before you start, try to make sure that everything is as clean as possible. Then you need to get the bleed point of the caliper at the lowest point of the system so that any trapped air moves upwards. Next, use your Allen key to loosen the brake lever and move it upwards until it is roughly level. Undo the small Allen key bolt on top of the lever, making sure that you keep the little O-ring safe. Then screw in your Shimano bleed pot, just lightly by hand, making sure that you don't over tighten it. Going down to the caliper now, take off the dust cap. At this point you might want to remove the wheel to make it easier to access the brake, but there is no need to on our model. Take your bleed syringe and fill it with the Shimano hydraulic mineral oil. Then undo the valve using your 3mm Allen key, just one turn anti-clockwise. Put gentle pressure on the syringe and start pumping the fluid through the cable. You'll see the old fluid appear in the reservoir on top of the brake lever. As you do it, give the cable a flick to get rid of any air bubbles. Once the reservoir is almost full, firstly tighten up the valve on the caliper, then place the provided bung into the reservoir to plug the hole, then unscrew the reservoir from the lever. Dispose of the old fluid safely and then replace the dust cap on the lever. Then back down on the caliper, pull the hose locking device away and then the hose itself, making sure not to spill any fluid. Give the whole area a clean and then replace the dust cap on the caliper. Repeat the same steps for the other brake, again making sure that the bleed point is the lowest area of the system. On our stand we can get the bike into the right position, but if you don't have that luxury then you may need to remove the brake caliper from the frame. For more videos like this, subscribe to GCN, it's absolutely free.